Welcome to part four of our e-audio video tutorial series that shows how registered library patrons can access their e-audio borrower account details. It's assumed you're already a registered user and are able to navigate around the site and borrow and reserve items. These topics are covered in parts one to three of the video tutorial series. Once you're signed in, you can access the My Account area by single clicking on the My Account link. This takes you to your account summary, which displays My Account details, active loans and reserves, loan history, available loans and reserves, and feedback. If you select Edit Account Details, it takes you to a page where you will be able to update your email and display name or your newsletter subscription selections. Don't forget to save your changes before moving away from this page. Please note, however, that if you update your email address here to give us a call or visit your local branch to ensure that we update your details in our main library system. The reverse also applies. The Active Loans and Reserves area shows the items that you currently have out on loan or reserved. For items you have on loan, you will be able to download the item from here by selecting the Download button. You can go back to My Account by selecting the Back to My Account button. The loan history will show all e-audio items that you have borrowed from this service and indicate the loan period. The available loans and reserves area shows how many loans or reserves you currently have available to you. The feedback area allows you to post feedback about your experience in using the service. To go back to the main area, just select Start. This brings us to the end of part four. Part five will outline the download process. Thank you for watching.